Hey folks, how's it going? My name's Dave from Dave Shields Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Today, it's all about kettlebells. In particular, what weight should you be using when you're first starting off with kettlebells? Okay, stay tuned for some recommendations on some sizes and also some reasons why it's important to get this weight right to start off with. Now, kettlebells are a fantastic tool to use for fitness in general, for endurance, for strength. And they are, you know, they're very versatile. You can use them for many different exercises. Some of the exercises are quite ballistic. You know, they're, they're dynamic. You're throwing around the kettlebell. Other movements, they're a bit more, they're a bit slower. The gr or grinding movements, you've got the Turkish ghetto and you've got the, uh, the, the scoblet squat, you know, all these, these fancy names. So. You want to get the, the size right, you know, with the more dynamic movements. If you get a too heavy a bell, then you're going to be doing yourself a, a, an injury. There's a big risk of injury there if you, if you go too heavy. Um, similarly, if you go too light on the grinding movements, you're not really going to get the full benefits of it. So you need to, you need to pitch it there just about right. So you need to know what's, uh, what's your goal out of training with kettlebells. What do you want to get out of it? Do you want to be a fat burning furnace? or do you want to build strength? Do you want to get stronger? So all these things are going to be taken into consideration. So the first thing is, what is your experience with weights in general? You know, have you ever been to the gym? Do you know some of the terminology? Have you used dumbbells before? Have you pressed things overhead before? All those, all those sorts of things. It might be that you've never been to a gym. Okay, that, that's fine. The next thing to think about is your general fitness level. Okay, uh, uh, currently, you know, are you really unfit? Are you really out of shape? You know, do you struggle running for the bus, going up the stairs, that kind of thing? Or do you have a, a fairly good level of fitness? You know, maybe that you, you do exercise regularly, you go running. So, you know, you've got a, you've got a good general level of fitness. And, and finally, you want to consider, do you have any um, niggles any injuries that you're carrying you know the sorts of things as we get older you know the dodgy knee the hips the shoulders all that kind of thing you know that they, they, they'll all need to be taken into consideration so hopefully you start to build up a picture of of where you're at in terms of purchasing your kettlebell and what size or what weight you should be getting okay so i've got a range here and you know, I, I use all these for different sort of exercises, for different types of exercises. Like I say, the, the kettlebell is very versatile. So I'll use these for any, any number of different situations. But you know, when you're starting out, kettlebells are quite hard to come by at the moment and they have gone up in price as well. Uh, I, you know, I think I paid uh, maybe 10 or 12 pounds off Amazon for this little baby here but a few years ago. You know, my latest acquisition cost me 50 pounds you know although it's a bigger bell but uh, yeah prices have gone up and so has scarcity as well so you need to be careful when you're making your considerations okay so for men then generally if you have got that general level of fitness that we talked about maybe you know a little bit about um, pressing things overhead and a few of the terminology then even on the side of caution, a lighter weight, the 12 would be a, a good um, place to start. You should be able to press the bell overhead. Now, there's a, a 16 here, there's the next one up. They go up in 4 kg increments. So the next one up is a 16. So it, you know, if you've got quite a good level of fitness and you, you're regularly pressing weights, uh, in the gym then you know consider buying a 16 you might want the kettlebell for a bit of variety in your training or to do a little bit of home training which is quite popular at the moment so so starting with uh, the 16 will be a better bet now remember that you know I, I have said that kettlebells have gone up in price but compared to surgery or an injury they are quite cheap okay so what I mean by that is you can always buy another kettlebell once you progress my recommendation would be to learn the moves first then to go up the weights all right like i said some of the moves are quite ballistic you know that they they require um, te a certain technique and if, you know if you're getting it wrong with a heavy weight you're going to injure yourself 
or end up throwing the kettlebell through a window, which, which wouldn't be good either. So down, down the bottom end, for, for ladies, maybe an eight, eight kg. Again, the same thing applies to, to ladies. Um, it's got to be something you can press overhead. Now, you can start with a six kg uh, or, or an eight kg. I know I said they go up in four kg increments, but they have started making lighter weights down, down the bottom end. So, so yeah, so consider an eight or a six, you know, and then if you're quite fit, you've done a, quite a bit of working out, then, you know, consider getting a 12 to start with. Again, you can com um, progress up, up the ladder as you get better, as you learn the techniques. Okay, folks, so that's it really. That I mean, that's, that's kind of where it's at you know if, if i'll just just recap for guys a 12 kg is a good starting point um if you're totally out of shape and you've never worked out before you don't know any of the moves then do consider getting an eight all right you can always upgrade later on similarly if you are quite experienced in the gym you know and you you've you're regularly pressing things overhead and you're lifting weights then then the 16 would be a good bet. And finally, we've got the 20 here. Okay, so you can, something for you to progress onto. Now they do go up in four kg increments, like I say, to 24, um, 28, 32. But uh, you know, that's for further down the line. This is squarely aimed really at beginners or people who wanted to get into kettlebells. Please watch out for future videos on kettlebells. I'm going to do some workouts. I'm going to do some technique workouts as well, some technique videos. So uh, keep an eye out for that in future. Consider subscribing. If you've got a bit of value out of this video, then just consider giving it a like. That'd be, uh, that'd be really cool. It does help us out. And um, yeah, guys, so watch out for that in the future. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll see you soon. Stay fit, guys. <laughs>